everybody so i'm doing a video on store envy today i tried to do one before but unfortunately that video didn't go as planned so and i was told that nobody can hear me after a while so i'm redoing the video for you guys and gonna take you through how to set up a shop and the whole store envy logistics because store envy is really really good for if you're just starting out and wanting to start a shop and i've used it before but and i currently like, have a shop on it but i'm in the process of switching over from here to shopify because shopify does more but this is a real store envy is a really good platform to set up shop if you're looking to get started and open up your own shop. So I'm going to guide you through how to set up your own and teaching you a little bit more about the logistics of. So guys, this is Store Envy, like I said, where you can go and open up your own shop. Um, you can literally get discovered by a bunch of people and you have you get a free custom online store and it's also a social marketplace and i'll get into a little bit about what that is after i guide you through on how to set up a shop and basically i'm going to just guide you give you a little guide before i even set up so you're able to build and grow your online business with one easy platform you can upload your products you have two great ways to sell and you can be awesome. So you get access to millions of shoppers and you get to grow your business in the process. Now I, this is free to start and this is why I said it's really good for you if you're looking for a way to start your own business. I will be doing a thorough detailed blog post um, and I will put in the description at some point when I do the blog post, I will put in the description, but the video, this video will be linked to, it'll be linked. So my, my blog post and video, I'm going to be linking blog posts to videos and videos to blog posts because I think that's like the best thing to do right now, but that's a whole other topic. So You'll easily, you can easily promote your business. You, the Store Envy Marketplace works with a social network for shopping, grow your Store Envy following and gain exposure to new customers. So you get watchers, you get sales. Shoppers who watch your store will be notified every time you add new products to the marketplace. You get exposure. The shopper community votes on their favorite products by envying. The more MVs your products get, the more exposure your business will receive on the trending feed, the category pages, and search results. And then, then there's the option of getting featured. The more activity your business gets in the marketplace, the greater the chance your business has of being featured. Then you also get a free customizable online store, your very own professional online store. You can customize it to look like your business, HTML, CSS, your own domain, um, fast and easy, set up a store in five minutes. The store, store envy store admin panel was designed to be simple and fun to use. It has all the features that you need to run a great store and nothing you don't. So like, it's really easy to use as I get for when you're just starting out. Um, you can learn and grow. You can accept payments from Stripe and PayPal. Um, this part, this whole plus and pro thing is actually new. All of this actually used to be free and then somehow they changed it. So it's not the same anymore. But regardless, I still think that it's a good platform to start on in terms of leveraging your market and building a business online because it starts you off with free and it's like 
you don't get the custom domain, but I've realized that a lot of these things that start you off with free, they, like, it's, it's just not the same because they'll say it's free and then it ends up not being free. So this is, store Envy is the only thing I can think of that is like 100% free and easy to use. And plus, and four ninety. dollars $14.99, like, like I said, this is all new and you guys can take it upon yourself to like go over like the pricing, but plus you get $14.99 a month, pro $29.99 a month. Like I don't really need all these extra products or before one of the store I'm about to sell up for you guys. I don't need all this extra stuff, so free is just perfect. Unlike my other shop that I have where I need all of this, I'm not gonna spend $30 on using this platform when I can go to Shopify and you spend the $30 a month and I might as well go use that because it's better. Better for me in terms of the plugins I'm able to use for Shopify. So for the strap I'm setting up, free is probably like the best way for me to like go through it. So guys, I'm back. I had to take a little break because I had to set up my account and start my account so as you can see i already um signed up already for a store and it's already i already put everything in and so it says that you've created a store and restore boss bay united you're on your way to becoming a certified store owner it gives me my marketplace and custom store um URLs so both of these stores are currently closed and they will not be viewable to anybody be until I say it's opened and obviously I'm not done uh, I have to add the products but I only have like five products to add so setting this up is going to be super 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 easy for me um you have the two stores and you have your admin panel and if you need help you can obviously go to the support section or go to help so i'm gonna walk you through the back portal of all of this so you guys can see that so this is the admin merchant admin panel as you can see it says that my store is currently closed and I'm on the hobbyist plan, but I would have to upgrade if I want to do anything else, but we're not going to do that. And the only thing I have is marketplace and cart abandonment. These would be my, you can see your sales from right here, shipping insurance, but I don't really need to worry about that because I'm selling something digital, so it doesn't really matter. Um, then you have storefront, your store envy storefront fees. On your current, you I can basically Pay the six pence commission on your storefront orders, which will allow you to hide your fees and your price. You, we will allow you to choose what's best for your storefront. So on your storefront orders, you can either allow your customers to pay the storefront handling fees by default, or you can pay a 6% commission on your storefront orders, which will allow you to hide our fees in your price and we will allow you to choose what's best for you i'm not sure your storefront sales see i don't i don't really understand this so i just leave this alone because this is like kind of new so i'm just gonna leave that alone you can see your recent orders recent ratings your storefront visitors how many people Top referring link URLs, your most viewed products, systems all good. You can most envy products, best sellers, top buyer countries, Google Analytics. You know, these are all the the gist of what's what. And like I said, the plan thing, this is a new thing that they just did. This was not here before. Um, I don't know when they um, put this in place, but it's new. I don't really like it too much, but like I said, this is really good for you if you really, really want to start a store, but you don't have enough 
upfront cost to starting the store so that that's works out in your favor um and you can start with this make some money then switch over to switch over to shopify or stay and upgrade it's your honestly your cho choosing but i'm just trying to give you guys you know something else to look forward to and something else that you can use as a reference so now i'm going to guide you on how to set to upload products this is where you can go to upload your products manage products manage collections you can export products import products and bulk edit marketplace price and you add pro new product i have my managed collection i'm actually going to probably do a collection first to be on the safe side and then we go from okay so this is how you go to create a new collection so i'm going to create a new collection i'm titling is the busy busy boss loop if you want to upload an image that represents your collection you can do that i'm probably not going to do that ghost host feature friday and small business saturday save the collection return Okay, so we have that, and I'm gonna make another one. It's called Story Bay. Not gonna add anything in the description currently right now, so I'm just gonna leave that alone. So that's how you create collections. So we're back at the add, adding a new product. So we're gonna add a new product. Add, this is regular this is ghost host. Let's just say Goes to this for eleven twenty five. Not gonna add a subcategory because honestly, like I don't really need it. I guess I guess it'd go under tech, I'm not sure. I mean no specialty. everything else I add it to the collection I'm not gonna add a I'm not gonna add a description right now I'll do that when I'm not recording because this is just to show you what I'm doing this is a shipping notes please And you can add your tag, Instagram, loop, followers, game, game trains, services, save changing. So 
save changes. And that is how you add a product. I will show you and voila, the product is right here. This is the shop all. When you go to Busy Boss Loop, it's right there. So you can see it. Actually, it will not be there. Don't, oh, you can also up to do the variants in different stock levels. So like, you can do that, add an image, all that extra stuff. Also, this guides you on what you have to do next. So I added one product. I love that uh, I'm, I'm gonna have more when I'm done. Um, you uh, can update your business info, your payments, your shipping, your fax, and then you can launch your store once you did that. So I'm gonna go to business info, have your logo. I don't have one yet. The name on your bank, business phone, business type, so priority to can add your links so I can add my links to my Instagram. Busy Boss Instagram. Instagram.com. Access to Busy Boss. Busy Boss Loop. Then you have it for there. I'm just going to add that for now. Then save changes. Okay, save changes. Now that works. Then you can add your Stripe account and connect to PayPal for billing. Get paid, billing. I'm not going to connect those. I'll connect those off camera. Um, in terms of shipping, <coughs> these are digital products so I don't really need to so much worry about di the shipping so that's kind of irrelevant and then we have fat page thank you message what is your return and exchange policy to accept uh, yeah so this is This is it. And then you can launch a store.